Hi guys, I'm back. I'm going to do some, just a few tiles um, with some leftover paint. I don't know how they're going to turn out because the painting didn't work. The painting didn't work out all that great. And it's, it's pretty, but it, it just it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. Partly there were too many air bubbles, which caused too much little like splatter look effect to the painting, which I didn't really care for. But um, these are just basic white, um, you know, the bathroom tiles. I do not um, prime my tiles because I'm going to pour the paint over it. I am going to let them sit for a week or two, and then I will cover them in resin, which will seal them. So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, the paint coming off. But in the meantime, the paint will come off if you just slightly rub the tiles against something. So make sure you put them where nobody will touch them. The dogs won't lick them. <laughs> Y'all laugh, but my dog ate half of one of my paintings. So they do like the taste of this paint. So let's get on with it. Okay, colors we're going to use are the same colors as we used in the scarf painting. Um, I just have to show you this. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. I might try and save that and do something with it. I don't know. I mean, it's on cardboard, so you know you don't want to... I, I really don't know what the cardboard cardboard will do over time like if you leave it like if you cut it out and make a piece of jewelry with it I don't know how long that'll last you know if you pour resin over it how long will it I don't know so what I'm thinking is for this first one since I have a lot of this lavender color left I'm gonna pour it over the whole tile and then I'm gonna try a uh, flip and drag with the other colors through it just to see what happens may work, it may not. Who knows? It's all about experimenting, right? Because you just, you never know what's going to come up cool. I've been totally surprised before. And of course, totally disappointed as well. As I'm sure many of you are. You think you have like this great, awesome, cool idea and then it totally, <laughs> totally doesn't work. Make sure you cover the edges real good so that, um, you know, because, you're, because with the flip and drag, you're not really pouring paint off. So you want to make sure you get the edges real good. Turn that so I can see that last side there. Okay. And just sort of scrape the paint off the bottom. Okay. Now I got my little bitty drag, flip and drag cup, although it's a, that's a really huge cup for such a small. Oh well, we're going to use it anyway. Just going to restir. We're going to do some dark purple. You really don't need much for this. Um, we'll do some of this phthalo green. Some of this uh, whatever kind of pink you want to call that. I really like this weird green. Well, you put a lot of that in there. Yeah, this really is too big for this tile, for at least for a flip and drag. But we're gonna do it anyway. I can see all the silicone coming up to the surface on this lavender. There we go. Just kind of pick it up. You don't want to push it down too hard because it'll scrape the paint off. Which we're kind of. Whoops! That did not go as planned. It's all green. Look at the cup. Pretty cup. But it's all green. <laughs> okay. Let's move it a little bit. 
See if we can get maybe a slightly more interesting pattern to it, maybe. Well, that's not too bad. We'll see once we, um, let's drag it off that corner. Uh, I kind of like what's happening with the getting rid of all that lavender. Okay. I'll leave it like that. And flame it real quick. Don't forget your edges. with this, but it's kind of pretty. I don't like this totally plain corner here. It's kind of boring. I kind of like the way the pink mixed with the green and kind of made it a peachy color. I'm just going to pour, try and pour a little bit of edge off there because it's, it just doesn't go for me. There we go. And back here. That's better. I like that. The only thing I don't like is this stretched out cell right there. That kind of bothers me. But I'm going to leave that. Because the rest of it's not too bad. Wipe my paint off the bottom. There we go. I'm going to torch it again. Because, um,. You know, moving the paint sometimes will reveal I don't think it's really going to do much of anything except pop some bubbles. Alright, that one is done. Set it off to the side where it can't touch anything. I'll do another one. Okay. This one, I think, we'll do just a flip cup. Now I'm just going to use this again. I'm going to use the, the, uh, the dark purple because I love it. Whoa. A little bit of that green. Well, that was more than a little bit, but. Okay, some darker pink. Some phthalo. And maybe just a hint of that, whatever that was. Lavender. And maybe a hint of that pink. Wow, that was close. Set my other, I set one of my cups down in the other cup and it got dumped over. Alright. Fingers crossed for something spectacular. Ooh. Pretty. I like that dark pink and that dark green and that dark purple all mixed together. Okay, set that upside down. We'll use it again in a minute. No, let's fire it first. All those air bubbles coming up. There we go. Okay. I feel like I need a side catcher. Uh, let's, we'll do paint samples. Paint samples work great for side catchers for this size top. Okay, got that off that one corner. Let's bring it back some. There we go.
I don't know. I don't like the giant green cell right there. It's it's just getting bigger. This does not want to go away. Okay, not cool. Big fat green blobby cell. Not cool. Okay, it totally it's just it's there. It just does not want to leave. I feel like I need to put something in the center of it. Maybe if I fire it, maybe something will come up through it. I'm not holding up much hope for that, though. Make sure our cut corners are covered because, you know, when you mix up all this paint, it's hard to, it's hard to go back and, and, you know, put a paint color on there that matches. Oh, I'm not liking that at all. Let's fire it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that green, like, wants to stay forever. Edges. Yeah, that's not making me happy at all. Um, let's pour over it. Why not? Right? When in doubt, pour over it. in totally different colors. I like that purple. Alright. There we go. Let's let that sit for just a second. Okay. This is not looking promising. <laughs> well, that's worse than it was. But let's just tilt it and see what happens. It's mostly lavender. It's all lavender. Yeah, that is not interesting at all. I'll pour most of that off. And we'll fire it and see what happens. I got a lot of that paint coming through. That's not interesting. At all. So, let's, um... I don't even know what to do with this one. Probably scrape it off and start over. Think. All oh, that's coming up through there is pink, 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 pink. Lots of pink. So, kind of want through here, maybe, and then maybe along that border. And 
feels like something needs to go across here. There we go. I kind of want to do one more down through here. Ooh, look at that limey color's coming out. Okay, I think that's enough. Enough ribbons. Sometimes you really just need to let the whole painting go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta know when is enough, when it's just totally, you know, it's just not gonna ever work. This one I'm thinking is headed in that direction. Yeah, that's just ugly. So, what do I love to do when something completely sucks? This is what I'm gonna do with it. There we go. Masterpiece. <laughs> okay. I like that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna rinse my fingers off. Well, no, I'm not because I'm in the middle of cooking dinner and I've got pasta in the sink right now. So, I am not going to wipe my paint off. I use my rag. Okay. And let's torch that baby and see what she does. I haven't actually done that in a while. That felt good. And even, and you know, the cells are not going to be great, obviously. They're not going to come up great. But I think it's pretty. It's got enough contrast between the light and the dark that I think it'll work. Look at that table right there. Can you see that? Okay, that's it for that one. Wipe off the bottom. Because we all know the drips pull the paint off of the canvas. And sometimes you have this beautiful canvas and you just don't want it messed up. Okay, we'll set that aside. I think it goes kind of kind of okay with the other painting just because it's the same colors without the limey green. There's not much of that limey green anymore. Okay, so we are going to do another one. Okay, we've got another tile here. So I'm going to turn off my chicken first. <laughs> okay, um, I'm on, I'm on. So we want them to look different than the last one. So I'm gonna use a fresh little little pour cup. I do save these cups. Obviously you can see there's paint all over it. Most of the time there's not paint all over it. But I do save these little cups if I can. Um, if I don't use them for um, the spiral pour, then I'll save them and I'll wash them. So I love to recycle anything and everything. I think y'all probably know that about me already. So uh, I'm going to use some of this dark pink. We need a good bit of it. And then, obviously, we're going to use some of this dark purple. Dark purple is not coming out a whole lot. And then, some of that pale pink. And why not? We'll just put some of this in there. If nothing else, it'll help the paint move around. That is looking really pretty. That would make a cool pendant if you had like a really large pendant. Ooh, lots of pink. Pink floats on everything. Oh, that pink really sits on everything. I really want some of that green to stay, but I don't think it's going to stay. My phthalo is on this side. My limey green is over there. Not looking real promising. All right. Let's do this side first. Maybe we can pull some of that green back. And this is going to be predominantly pink and purple. 
I'm just totally getting lacing with that pink. No, that green is gone. It's gone. Goodbye, green. Goodbye, green. It was lovely knowing you. I mean, it's really pretty. It's weird lacing sort of thing that the pink is doing, but I want some of my other colors back. But you never know what it's going to do after you, um, you know, pour a lot of the paint off. Sometimes, like, some of this color might come to the surface. Get your corners while you're going along. Swipe up from the bottom. Pick up that paint. Make sure you pick up the right color paint to get those corners. Otherwise, it's going to look funny. It's almost like lizard skin or something. It's kind of weird looking. And it's all going away now. Ay, ay, ay. Wow, this is totally pink and purple. No green left of any sort. It's all. <laughs> all gone. I mean, it's kind of a pretty tile. Get those corners, get that other oh, corners gotten. It's just that one. I don't like that line through that, it kind of like stops everything. Let's see if we can get it to move just a little bit. It's not really wanting to budge. A little bit. I need to do what somebody suggested to me, which was like glue something to the bottom of this so I can hold the tile. That would really help be helpful right now. Okay, that's enough of a movement for me. I'm not thrilled about this tile. But we'll torch it and see what happens. I see a hint of little green spots coming up. Little green men! <laughs> little green men. Alright, I see a few little green spots coming up. Maybe we'll get more. I think that's just from pop air bubbles. It's teasing me. I don't know. It's still kind of a neat looking tile. I think it'll look really pretty once it's got resin on it. All bright and shiny. I'm not sure it will go with the other one, but... Come on, Green. Where are you? Let's come up a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know. This is kind of turning out to be kind of pretty. When I give you the close-up, you can see a little better the sort of the pretty that it is. Okay. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm going to set it off to the side where it can join its brothers and sister or sisters and brother and let's do one more tile this one in order to sort of go with the flow of everything needs to be more green I'm on no I'm not going to use that it's covered in purple I'm a little afraid to use this much green but I'm going to try it anyway Oh, let's see. Let's do some dark purple. And let's put some phthalo green in, even though it doesn't want to show its face much. And I'm going to put just a hint of this light pink in there. And we're going to put some of that pink in there and then some more green on top so the green has a fair chance of showing up I really kind of want this tile to be mostly this green color so hopefully hopefully it'll cooperate okay 
Let it sit there. Give it a minute. Those three tiles that are sitting over there are all so completely different that they actually kind of go together. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, look. Lots of green. Okay, good enough. I like the way that green and that light pink mix together to make this sort of peachy color. Ooh, look at the cells coming up in there. Those are pretty cells. Little, albeit, but pretty. Put the heat on there, bring up those cells so they get a little bigger when I stretch it out. All right, let's get another well, no, I think we could probably still use this one, maybe. We'll use the other side of it. I don't know, it's getting kind of warped. I'm going to try it anyway. Don't move too fast. I don't want to lose everything. I don't want to stretch out my cells and make them look all Pac-Man-y. Bit. Very sort of alien colors. I don't know why, but I guess it's the purple and the green. Either alien or frog. I like the way that pink is in with that green. It's pretty. Over here, that one like phthalo green cell over here looks kind of cool. I really want to save it. Going anywhere. I don't go nowhere. Okay. Well, I still have to pour off way over here, so that cell might end up going. Yep, there it goes. It's leaving. Sayonara. I don't like that line through there. The lines always bother me. Cause it's like a, it just stops your eye from going anywhere. I might have to get rid of that phthalo just to get rid of that line. All right, now we need to get this corner covered. I'm gonna need to get rid of some of that green. Interesting. Kind of pretty. Let's see if I can get enough paint off my hands here. <laughs> All right. We need to fire that poor baby. Cells are not perfect this time. <laughs> oh, but this is kind of pretty. Kind of watercolory. I don't know. I like the color palette anyway. But nothing else is going to come up through here. Let's move that baby over there. It's going to make a pretty kosher set for somebody. I think. Let's get you down so you can see. Alright. There's all four of them. So I can get y'all where you can actually see it the right way. There we go. Get you in close so you can see. There's that, that one we just did. Look at that cell right there. That, that one right there in the middle that I just put a shadow on. It's kind of rainbowy, kind of pretty. And look at that one in the very top corner. It's like half green and half pink. That one is too, right there in the center. 
Okay, sorry for the shadow. And there is the one we did before, the last one. Kind of pretty. And our flip over massacred tile that turned out kind of cool. And then there's that one, and that limey green is not quite that yellow, but close. That was the first one we did, which probably turned out more like I wanted to than any of the rest of them. But, I don't know. They're kind of a cool set. So I'll wait a week or two, probably a couple weeks, uh, until the weather warms up a little bit. And then I'll pour resin over those. And they will either be a set of coasters, or they could be desk art sitting on top a little bit of easel. So, I'll leave you with those. Wherever you are on the planet, I hope you have an awesome afternoon, evening, day, or night, wherever you are. And thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. See you later. Bye.